Good morning, Stephanie Kammerman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whispers for January 31st, last day of January. Don't mess it up, guys. All right, if you had a great month, take today off. Go ahead, go treat yourself to something. Trust me, I've been in this business for 26 years, and I know when I've had a really good month, I usually really don't trade the last day. I think some of you know what I'm talking about, right? So let's start with the SPY. The SPY, we are going to be bullish above 327.50. Yep, and bearish below 326. I picked 327.50 because we do have a dark pool level at 327.49. They like to play print pong. So that's why I'm drawing the line there. Bearish below 326. Let's go to the E Menez right here. Uh, bullish above 32.81 and bearish below 32.67.50. Yeah, the Russells had that, uh, let's see, levels today, 164. Sorry, it was the Qs that had the dark pool. I'll be going over that in a minute. Uh, the Russell, though, today, bullish above 164 and bearish below 162.99. We'll see if we do break below that. Let's go to the Qs. Yeah, because this had heavy dark pool activity at um, 221.44, and we are above that level. We also had a real time, pretty large print, 221.71. We're above that also. All right, so watch that 224 for entry, bullish above that for the day. Remember, this is a daily whisper, okay? These are day trades. I get a lot of people asking me if, can they take it for swings? We know we have a whole new set of rules for swing trading. If you don't know them, go on and read my book, darkpoolsecrets.com. I go through a lot of them. I also have a lot of workshops at thedarkpools.com, go to the store, uh, swinging with the stock whisperer, swinging around the dark pool is definitely one of my best when it comes to swing trading, so go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how to swing around the dark pool. This is for day trading, okay, so please keep them separate. Different risk reward when it comes to swing trading, and I'm very picky. And we are in the middle of earnings season, so we just don't want to swing haphazardly, okay? We really have to be careful what we swing. Bonds, that's really been the easiest swing because it's not affected by earnings, just trading off the dark pool. I'll get to that in a minute, but let's do the QQQ, all right? So I said I'm bullish above 224, bearish below 221.50. Let's go to the NASDAQ futures. We're going to be bullish above. 91.75 and bearish below 91.25. We got the Dow futures bullish above 28.750, bearish below 28.550. All right, let's go to the oil futures. Watch oil. We got a really crazy print yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. On oil D, you don't want to trade that. It's the bear for oil. So when it goes up, oil goes down. It was a highly unusual dark pool print. So I know something's going on. Give it a couple days to marinate, and then we're going to have another big move on oil. So today for oil futures, we are only bullish above 52.62, above this pivot. And we're going to be bearish below 51.94 if we go below this S1 level. Let's go to uh, gold futures. All right, lots of volume coming into gold. Bullish above 15.87.50, so we're going to be bullish above here. And bearish below 15.80 for gold. And I'm going to give you levels for GLD in just a moment. But let me just put this back and let me just show you that oil. Yeah, oil D. You can see 
And again, please don't ever trade this, okay? Yeah, this is not a good trading vehicle, but if it does go up, oil goes down. If it goes down, oil goes up. Just use it for the level. The print happened at, um, you guys remember the level yesterday? Let's see who's on top of this one. Was it 16 or 16.05? Let's see who can answer me. Everybody's like, hmm, you're going to make me look it up. Was it 16.25? Nope, I have a 16. Okay, it's in the tab. Hold on, I'll search it. I think it was 16. I'm going to double check. It was 16, 1 1.3 million. Got it. Thank you. All right, yeah, so it's still splashing around. Right? We don't want to trade these things the first day. Yep, you can strangle it, uh, but don't go in full force. Wait a couple days, let it splash, and then the true move will happen. Okay? So, yep, so watch that if you're going to trade any oil, oil futures. Yeah, you can see we, we never have this much volume usually. Down here, look, they were buying. Mm -hmm, perhaps they're selling. And I always say, perhaps I like to keep an open mind, always. All right, let's go to the individual stocks. We gotta go to Amazon. How many of you bought something recently on Amazon? Anybody? Anybody buy anything? Come on, I bought enough for everybody. <laughs> That's why it's up. Yeah, Amazon is exactly phenomenal it's like they know what you're gonna order before you even do it it's at your door before you even click send right <clears throat> it's pretty fast so I did call this out earlier bullish above 2050 yep we hit uh, three targets already 2100 is the next last target let me just see if there's anybody lined up to sell it's a beast and yeah look at this guy there is a guy right here at 2090. Pretty big on the ARCA book. And that's it right now. Yeah, so watch that 2090. All right. Let me go to the next one Tesla. All right, Tesla, we're going to be bullish above 642.50 and bearish below 632.50. There's a buyer at 132.50 on the ARCA. Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, 6.42. No, that was Caterpillar. 6.42, there's a buyer. Um, he's no longer there. He got taken out. There's a huge buyer at 6.36 right now. Yeah, and he was there earlier. He's still there. Right here, I posted it. So, yep, watch if it comes down there. All right, let me go to the next one. Caterpillar. Caterpillar, yeah, not great earnings front news. Bullish above 136 and bearish below 132. Yeah, watch this 200 moving average. Yep, they like to hammer it, um, break it down, get everybody stops, and they might bring it up. We'll see how it closes today and so forth so let's see let's go to visa so visa we had a, a really large print before earnings you think somebody knew something absolutely uh, half a million at 205 25 so that's why that's a key level for me bullish above 205 50 and bearish below 202 for visa we are testing that right now and i love to look on the book and see if he's refreshing on the bid and he just did actually he went from 600 to 735 yeah and you want to see if he keeps doing that if he does he's buying and not showing his hand his full hand okay let's go to cl kent called this one out thank you kent that was a great call out bullish above 73 it's rocking and rolling already uh, bearish below 71.50. Yeah, this is one of those trend trades. Is it going to be a gap and go higher? And I look at my five-minute chart for that. 
and I watch the 15 exponential moving average. That's my green line right here. 15, this one. 15 exponential moving average. After the first 15 minutes, the market is opened. If it's above the 15 EMA, that's bullish. If it goes below it, it's usually a reversal in the trend. But I do like to watch volume. I like to watch the levels. But it's an awesome moving average for stocks that gap like this. So it looks like a gap and go scenario right now. So Apple, this is more of a swing setup. Yeah, high volume doji. I love this. This is my favorite, favorite pattern in the entire world. You know why I love this? Because it centers around high volume. And you know, I'm the volume princess on Twitter, so here's what it is. It's like a little story. And I like these little dojis. The doji candle opens and closes at the same price. It's an indecision. But the fact that there's high volume means there was a massive battle. The bulls and the bears, they duked it out all day long. Nobody won. Somebody's going to win this battle, though. And if it can close in the next couple days, if it can close above the high of this candle, that's very bullish. And if it closes below the low of this candle, that is very bearish because I'm using all of this volume in the trade. When we have a big print, it's a much easier. But you know what? When you have a doji, like a little, a little doji, it's really key. Okay, so like here with little wicks, I don't like long-legged dojis. The span is just too much for that. Here we had a doji, but it really wasn't high volume. But in any case, it did go up. But it didn't have the volume. We really need the volume for the bigger move. So this is more of a swing trade, so watch that. Because we could go above it or below it during the day. It's really how it closes. That's the secret. All right, so that is the high volume doji trade, swing trade. All right, XOM. And that was for Apple. All right, XOM. Bullish above 65.37. Oh, this thing just took a nosedive down, and that's why I do post it out earlier. Bearish below 63.62. We just hit my first target. Yeah, we'll see if it bounces off 63.50. If not, uh, look out below for XOM. Let's go to GLD. GLD bullish above 149.25 and bearish below 147.75. I'm using this latest print we had at 147.95. Let's go to uh, X. All right, so X, United States Steel Corporation. We are going to be bullish above 987, that last eighth trade till 10, major level. And then, of course, if it can break above that, there is resistance at 10. Uh, bearish below 950, which it just went below. Yep, yeah, we had a print at 953 last week. Yeah, I had a feeling somebody was doing something before earnings. So that's why I am bearish below that. We already just hit, oh, do we hit all my targets? No, not all of them. We went down to 925, not yet. Okay, 916 and nine are the next targets. Yep, NTLT, love this trade. This has been the bomb this year is definitely making my year ready. Um, if you're not in it yet, 145.50, next key level. Bearish below 143.75. There you have it. Those are your whispers for January 31st. Just wanna let you guys know I will not be doing, well, I'm not gonna say I'm not. I'm definitely not doing it on Monday because I am traveling um, across the country on Monday. I'm not sure how many whisper videos I'll be able to put out 
I will send notifications every day. I'm going to be out for a couple days, but I will send out as many notifications as I can throughout the week. I will be back full time on Friday. All right, until next time, happy trading, everybody. My secret